Hello everyone, this is Rochelle, and today I'm here to show you guys some of the things that I've been picking up lately. Hopefully you guys have had a wonderful holiday season and new year and all that good stuff. Happy 2019 to y'all. Hope y'all going for your dreams, doing what you need to be doing. Okay, I made these animal dreams, and I'm going to show you some of the things I've been picking up. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll help me shoot for my dreams. I don't know, I don't know. Probably shouldn't have said that. Um, like I said, guys, intermittent, but still here, okay? So anyway, without further ado, let me show you some of the cool stuff that I have found as of late. Check this out, okay? First of all, look at this little sweater. This is a cardigan. Looks like a little preppy cardigan. Depends on how you see it. Or it looks like it could be a Gucci cardigan, but it totally is not, guys. I picked this cardigan up from Saks Off Fifth like a couple of days ago, actually. I still got a shopping hat going. <laughs> a couple days ago, actually, it is a men's cardigan. It is so freaking cute. Imagine this with like all black, maybe some leggings or something, like some, some combat boots. I got these combat boots with pearls on them. First of all, I should bring them in so you can see them. They are very cute, very nicely made boots. They sent them freaking boots. They have pearls, like on the um, you know where the the um, the lace tie would be. It's there's no tie or anything. It's just pearls there. Super cute. One of the pearls. It came with one of the pearls missing. So uh, maybe I'll show it to you. I don't know. I feel like it would be so cute. That's what I was thinking of. But anyway, it's broken off. But anyway, the point is, it's a very nice cardigan. I picked it up from Saks Off Fifth. Um, if you're in the Charlotte area, I got it from the Charlotte Outlet. Okay, it sacks off up there. They have some more out there. It was only thirty nine ninety nine, and this is men's. Okay, I'm a nine ten. I got a size extra large, and it's nice and drapey. It fits nicely. Okay, so I got that. Check this out. Okay, when I tell you I love this freaking purse, I'm in the. Y'all know I love purses. Y'all know I do. But when I saw this purse, I had to do a double take because I was like, this is a beautifully made thing up in Marshalls. Take a look. How cute is this thing? And they go, look at that. Look, it looks um almost like a metallic kind of leather. It's leather. It's by a company called or a brand called Body Care or Bot Care New York. I don't know. Look at this chain. The chain really is what got me. This chain is stunning. If you like bags and stuff, then you you know about the hardware. This hardware is bright on. It's like a um it's like a super shiny gunmetal. It is beautiful, okay? Like I said, this almost looks like a metallic type leather. It's in the chevron print. Um, it is a wok, and it looks very familiar to another type of wok. <laughs> um, has a super deep pocket here. You can put most phones, I feel like, would fit there. Or whatever you want to put there. It is a crossbody. This can be removed, okay? You can wear this as a clutch. You can even adjust it. Not that much, maybe like an inch or so, but I'm just saying you could. Look, all these little car slots it has in here. I've been wearing this one. I had this for maybe two months now. I've been wearing the hell out of this bag, okay? You know, interchanging it with other bags. I'm telling you, I love this bag. Okay, so it has a little car slot there, a little ID card there, a little place where you can put your money, okay? It has a little mirror there for your, for your viewing pleasure, all right? It says Bakir, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, Bakir, New York, there, and it has two more car slots here. You open it up. <clears throat> has the main little compartment there and then it also has another one that zips okay look at that and that's in the front so oh my gosh and then oh, look at the look at the hardware here can you take takes a gander just a gorgeous deep super shiny gunmetal i love this bag look for it okay i saved the tag just so just for you in case you guys like it as much as i did Oh, here it is. Okay, sorry. It's called Bakir, New York, and it's called the Soho Quilted Crossbody. It retailed for $160, found it at Marshalls for $59. Matter of fact, I got it for free basically because I saw because I was supposed to be shopping. It was like during the Christmas season. <clears throat> I was supposed to be shopping for other people. You know how it is. I saw something though, okay? So I told lady to hold it. And y'all know I shop in Marshalls all the time. I have so I have stuff in there with tags still on that I have never even worn. Took it, brought it back because it was summer stuff. And it was like, it calls are here. Um, take this back. She gave me, gave me a credit. I was able to get this and I still have a $30 card. So, okay. So basically it was free. I love that freaking bag. Check eBay. Just Google it. It's out there. Okay, there's one on eBay, a black one just like this, but it's 79 worth it. I recommend that bag. I love that freaking bag. <clears throat> anyway, next thing I picked up, and I got this from H&M, and it is just super cute. 
Y'all remember my Dior bag that I showed you in the last video? I had to take that bag back. I was trying to post some pictures. I was going to put some on Instagram and stuff. I look. Why was that bag used? That bag had a scuff on it. It had a scuff on the logo. It had a scuff on the side. It had a freaking stain in it. I guess with all the lights, everything's kind of blurry, I guess. I don't know. When I took a picture to, you know, like photograph so you could really get it up close and personal, I saw all of that stuff. The guy who sold me that bag, it wasn't his fault, I guess. I mean, it wasn't his fault because he didn't need to see the bag. It was an a essay in um, Las Vegas. And he didn't have the bag, so he called another essay in Florida and had them ship it. They showed me the bags, the pictures. I said, yeah, that's the bag, but not that one. Okay, this, he said, no, this is just the one that we, and we show people we have a brand new one back in stock. That's the one we're going to send you. Perfect. You know the one they sent me, right? And then he tried it two more times, the same exact thing. Kept trying to send me used bags. I was like, you know what? At that point, I felt like it was his, not his fault, but you know, you keep trying it. I, you know, you said you were going to get one directly from the Dior buyer and all of that. And eventually he did get that. But at that point, he had already tried two other times, including this time to sell me something that was used. So I didn't get it anyway. Point of that whole story. I took that back. Got my money back and bought a jumbo. It's fine. It's a better investment anyway. Um, it's fine. <laughs> yes, I love that bag. But it had to happen. On the Dior site, there's this outfit that I saw this girl and I thought it was so pretty. And that skirt is like thousands of dollars. And I just love the look, right? So I said, I'm going to see if I can emulate it. Here we go. It's like, I'm going to see if I can put a link somewhere to the picture. I hope it's still there. It was like a, kind of like a tool skirt. Kind of like a, um, a tear tool skirt. And she had this big chunky sweater and a big belt with it. And I think she had some boots on. I don't know. It was just so cute, but so effortless. It was hard to find this skirt, guys. Found this skirt at uh, on H and M. <clears throat> I can't remember how much it was. I'm sorry, but it's a thin skirt. It does have a lining in the, a liner in there or slip. Y'all remember slips? <laughs> um, I don't know if you can take a peek at it. This is what the bottom looks like. Kind of lacy. Do you know what I mean? So it is really cute. I do have a black chunky sweater and a cute belt and some uh, combat boots. I can wear with it. So anyway, I can wear it with this. Look. With the little sweatshirt, you know, that kind of look, you know, a little thin little belt with the big buckle kind of, I don't know, I got a lot going on here, but you know what I'm saying, super cute, love it, love it, got that, let's see, oh, let me show you this beauty of a cardigan, I'm just into cardigans and jackets, anyway, love it, look at this thing, I got so many compliments wearing this thing, wore this thing to the mall, it was crazy, every single, almost every single store I went in, I got compliments on this. It is a beautiful sweater. Found it at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. Found it at TJ Maxx for $40. It's the bougie one, y'all. Y'all in the Concord, Charlotte area. It's the bougie one in Huntersville. That's the one to go to. I shouldn't have said that. Everybody go get that damn TJ Maxx. Anyway, it's okay. Uh, well, this is where, that's where I found this beautiful cardigan. It is faux fur here. Um, has fur on each sleeve and it does have pockets at the bottom. Nothing really going on in the back. Got it in a size medium from, the brand is called Sioni. S-I-O-N-I. -I. Anyway, love it. Love it. I don't know if it's trying to be somebody or look like something. I don't know. It was just beautiful to me. Next thing I'd like to show you, I found so much stuff, guys. <laughs> Check out this cute little bag. Isn't it adorable? Look at that thing. Okay. Donna Karen. All right. It's fine. Donna Karen is fine with me. Okay. I, I don't mind Donna Karen. She has some cute little um, um, uh, sweatsuits and stuff that I saw. I think it was on Macy's. I don't know. It was really cute. I was like, well, that would look really cute with this bag. Point is, this bag actually reminds me of another, like a, a designer bag. Um, but the, the writing is at the bottom. It's like a Gucci bag. I think it's a Gucci XL tote bag or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? It's a little different, but kind of the same thing with like the emboss. This is emboss, right? Emboss. Yeah, it, 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 I love the way it feels. I really do. It doesn't seem like it's, it's, it's really out there, but it is. And I just love the way it feels. I guess I'm just going to be doing this all day. I don't know. It's really cute on. It goes with a lot, believe it or not. And I, I'll, wrap, I'll wrap it. Okay, I just thought it was a cute thing. I love the strap on it. Nice kind of guitar strap it's got here, and it's got handles. So you can take this off, and it has the, like, um, champagne uh, gold hardware, which is easier to wear than, like, you know, like the, you know, the more yellow gold, um, you know. It does have a little button on the inside. Open it up. It has this little, like, silky, um, printed Donna Karen 
um, interior fabric, okay, or lining, and it looks like it's some, um, we call it, I guess, lined or piped, I don't know, and this little faux leather. Yeah, I certainly thought this was leather. It also has an interior pocket here on the other side, it says Donna Karen, a little swatch of faux leather there, it says Donna Karen, this little zip, pro zip pocket there, no feet or anything. Really cute. Found it at Marshalls for $69. Totally thought it was leather. Super soft, super lightweight. Had no idea. I just, you know, a couple days ago, I looked and let me see what kind of leather this is. It is not. I don't know. Some type of pleather leather. You know, it's like a man-made product, but they're getting good at this. This looks really, really good. You have to see it in person. It's beautiful. This can be found, um, Google it. It can be found, I think it said Macy's. I think I, I saw it on, on Nordstrom's site, but it was like 130 Okay, and I got that for, was it 69 79 something like that. So, I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, it's a difference, but check Marshalls. <laughs> okay, see what you can find first. If you really love it, it's on those sites. Use some coupons. Sign up for the lists, okay? Another thing I want to share with you guys, I got this from Off Saks. Fifth Avenue, off, so you know, like, you know what I'm talking about, it's at the outlet mall, okay, the one in Charlotte, look at these gorgeous little shoes, aren't they so cute, I love them, hubby loved them too, <laughs> this is just a lot happening right here, look, leave my little ponytail, it's just, I just tried to do the best I could, I just wanted to make a video, okay, anyway, a gorgeous mule, okay, this is calf leather, it is made very well, look at all these, see the spray heaties are all little metal studs there, nice chunky chain, let me see, I mean it's, it's a lightweight chain, it's a lightweight chain, here's the back of it, um, and it's got cushion, it's got cushion for you girl, not a lot of arch support though, but I have wide feet, um, and they fit really nicely on me, um, really comfortable, it's called the Rosamond shoe, Rosamond, and this is in black. I have it in a size 9. It runs true to size. It says the market price for it is 99 but I paid $59 for it. And I think it was, I think there was like 30% off or something going on. No, 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 it wasn't. It was only the clearance stuff. No, so it was $59 is what I paid for these. Anyway, I really love them. I cannot wait to jazz them up with something. Since we're talking about shoes, let me show you these little cute sock booties. I've had these for a few months. I still haven't worn them yet, but I know the outfit I'm wearing with them. Got them from DSW, $59.99. Had some coupons, too. Um, and with these other boots I want to show you that I got, they were so freaking cute. They looked like, you know, like the puppy jacket, but it was like a thigh-high boot like that. Oh, girl, those boots were so freaking cute. My super big uh, calves would not allow me to zip it up. I was crushed. I was really crushed because I couldn't wait to wear those freaking boots. It was like a heeled boot. It was, oh, my God, it was stunning. I had to take it back. Anyway. I probably should have took these back too because they're a little snug, but I, I think they're so cute that I will, I will put up with it. Okay, that's how cute I think these are. And I got them for a really good price. I got them for like, what, I think it was like $59 and they're super cute. I do not know why this heel looked like that on camera. It, it matches in real life, in the real world. Okay, but for some reason on camera, it looks kind of weird, but these are so cute. Let me say the outfit I got going on with it that I had planned, right? I had these um, wide leg denim jeans, like a light wash, de light wash denim jean with like the um, like the raw hem. Okay, and they were wide leg, right? And then, I mean, you know, this is the thing. A lot of y'all were talking about my style has changed when I did that last fashion video. Listen, listen. Okay, my style has not changed. I just have to tone stuff down. Okay, if you go out looking crazy, like if you were trying these little trends, little cute different things like that, you can't do the whole thing like you want to. You have to have something that's going to be clean and cut somewhere in there so the focus is where it needs to be. Okay, so you know, we just got the, the, the nice jeans, a little fray on it, and a little white button up. Okay, look, white cotton button up is what I had with it, and <laughs> it was cute. And you see this color. I had like a beige, um, a beige belt, you know, like the off-white belts, like the utility looking belts, you know, the bright yellow ones, all the different colors they have. Well, no, um, but I have one like that, and <laughs> it's this color, and it's long, and so I had that on with it. It was so freaking cute. It was cute, so anyway, I was like, yes, that's the outfit I'm going to wear with these one day. I haven't worn them yet. Um, so I got those, and I feel like we are getting through this super fast. Let me, oh. Let me show you these shoes. I got some shades, and I think that's it, guys. I mean, as far as the clothes and stuff is concerned, I bought a few other things, too, but I think this is it for the clothes. Dang, it was fast. 14 minutes. Okay, let me show you these sneakers. 
you like sneakers? I'm into it. I'm starting to become a sneaker person. Love these. Saw these. I got these um, uh, a couple of months ago. Haven't worn them yet. In fact, I tried to take them back because I saw a couple of things I didn't like. But they just sold out, so it would just be silly. I might as well just keep them. Other reason I was thinking about taking them back too, guys, is because the, the color, I love the color. But when I got home... I was just like, what am I going to wear with these black guys? I think I can, I think I can handle it. Just like black leggings, gray sweatshirt, right? Like leggings, all the jogging pants, you know, but I just, I don't know. I really want to wear them more than that. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I have a little hoodie this color, which would be cute with some leggings. I'm so wearing leggings. But you, I mean, you know, I just wanted something else, something more fun without having to shop. But I looked in my closet and I was like, no girl. No, girl. But anyway, um, like I said, they were sold out, and I figured I like them. I didn't see anything that I liked more than these, so I just went ahead and kept them. These are the Nike um, Air Maxes. I don't know what number or whatever. Maybe it's on the box somewhere. Um, w Air Max 97 LX, and I have them in the size 8.5. Okay, so that's what these are. Let me show you the issue. I'm not supposed to be telling you about how I love them. Let me show you the issue. True Virgo. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, um... Who can spot it? Where's Waldo? What's wrong? Why do these not match? What? Why is the other one kind of crooked? You see? It's like on there kind of crooked. I don't know. It just looked crooked to me. And then I want to know why this says Max Air and it says Air Max. I know it's a ribbon, but would it have been so much to do to just line this up, make sure this look right, make sure it says the same thing on each shoe. Not a big deal. I mean, it is a big deal. That's what I, I wanted to see if I can get that straightened. But I even looked on the site, like they advertise the shoes all Mitch match like that. So I guess that's just what it is. If you have these, do yours match? Or some like this, do yours match? Hmm, my lips. It's fine. I tried to do a little overdraw and it's fine. This is going to be what it's going to be. <laughs> I gave it a go today. It's been a while. That's nothing too. And, um, as far as why, you know, I don't get a chance to do these videos like I want. Because I'm doing so many other things other than this. And so, I don't know if you want to hear about all that. Um, but I did recently go shopping. I do have a nice little collection here that I want to share with you. So that's how I was able to make this. But I've been here, been watching, answering comments. I'm right here. I ain't going nowhere. So anyway, let me show you these. Hubby bought me these a couple days ago. Look at those. Aren't they cute? Right? <laughs> well, I'm not there. I got so many compliments on these. These were $100. And I don't think they really cost that much normally. I got them at that same store. Saks off Fifth. Saks off Fifth. Yeah, in Charlotte. And let me show you my other favorites. I've had these for a year, though. Over a year. So anyway, I'm going to show them. They look like something, but they ain't. They look like Fendi's. They look... When I tell you, these are my favorite um, shades. I have some Celine somewhere, and I love them. And I spend so much freaking money on those shades. But these get the most wear. <laughs> these right here. Nine times out of ten, you send me in these. So anyway, these are my little, um, my little beauty supply store shades. But the little, they starting to fall apart. So anyway, these will work, right? So anyway, I feel like that is all. That's all. Yeah, I have an... I guess I can show you some other things, maybe some makeup and stuff, or some hair stuff. We can talk about that too. But for right now, I just wanted to share this with you. Hopefully, you guys are doing so well. I hope that you are. Like I said, I hope you push it for your goals on everything you said you wanted to do. Any ideas or anything of stuff you want me to start talking about, want to see me do, see me talk about, help your girl. Um, because, like I said, I mean, I'm doing my best. That's all I can do, right? But I ain't stop. So anyway, questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. I'll try to put links to everything that I talked about below if I can find it. Um, and I will see you guys super soon. So great doing this video. I will see you guys super soon in the next one. Till then, y'all take care. Okay? Love you. Bye.